Hey, what's going on, Turtle Nation? Um, I'm gonna be doing my opinions about what's going on. Well, I don't know if it's like still going. I don't know what kind of is, but it's about the whole Leafy and Keemstar situation. Um, somebody in my last videos asked me that they wanted a, uh, one of my opinions on it, so that's what I'm gonna be doing here today. Um, so. I honestly, I think Keemstar, I like, I'm all about giving people second chances, but third chances if you're nice, fourth if you're really nice, but after four chances, I, I just don't really think um, people deserve more after that, like you've, tr you've tried to give them that many and all this, but yet they still come back and keep on betraying you or keep on doing those stupid things that they were doing before. Um, so, I feel like Keemstar, it's about time that he got called out and wasn't for, for ga forgiven for it. And, because, I mean, as you can see, like, I'll just play some of the stuff that he's done in the past here now. Are you gonna lie to me? Are you fucking lie to me? Are you gonna lie to me? Are you gonna lie to me? Are you gonna lie to me? Oh, no! Who's the I'm on blog TV with my fucking hands up. I'm not starting my fucking self. You fucking stupid bitch. This stupid fucking justice, all oh, fucking righteous fucking nigger, Alex, is doing this shit. You fucking nigger. I swear to fucking God, I'm gonna- Yo, everybody type in the chat, Alex is a stupid nigger. Just type in the chat, Alex is a stupid nigger. Fuck him. Fuck him. Nigger. 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 Like, I wish I fucking could see these people in real life because you wouldn't get, be able to breathe anymore. You just wouldn't be able to breathe anymore. You would not be able to breathe anymore. My kid is set for life. She has enough money to be happy for the rest of her life. I will gladly sit in jail knowing that you cannot breathe. You cannot speak. You cannot talk. You cannot spew any of this shit ever again. I will literally kill this motherfucker. I don't care. Everything that I've done is as a parent is done. It's set. My kid is set for life. Like, I can sit in a jail cell knowing well that you cannot fucking spew this type of bullshit ever again. Like, I literally want to kill this dude. Fucking kill. I don't care. It's not a threat. It's a promise. I'm gonna- I want to fucking kill this dude. I'm fucking losing my mind. Like, I need to strangle them. Like, I need to have my hands on their neck. Like, I don't know if any of you are parents that are watching this, but like- they need to die. Like, they don't need to get beat up. They don't need to get, like, you know, lose their sponsorships. They need to die. They need to fucking die. They need my hands around their fucking neck, choking the life up. And at the same time, they're being racist, homophobic, and trying to convince other children to kill themselves. That's right, encouraging suicide. They're being racist, homophobic. You fucking stupid bitch! This stupid fucking justice, all fucking righteous fucking nigger, Alex, is doing this shit! You fucking nigger! I swear to fucking god, I'm gonna find out where- Yo, everybody type in the chat, Alex is a stupid nigger. Just type in the chat, Alex is a stupid nigger. You're being racist, homophobic. And trying to convince other children to kill themselves. That's right, encouraging suicide. I think it's funny. I've been laughing for the last hour that your mom died of cancer. I don't give a fuck about any of you. I am in this for your money and your money only. That's all I care about. All right. I only do this show for money. That's it. All right. I don't do it to entertain people. That's just a fucking scam. Uh, I don't give a fuck about any of you. I really hope you die of cancer. I hate every single one of you. Fuck the fans. No sarcasm. No joking. Fuck the fans. Thank you. I see there's a lot of debate. You know, is he joking? Is he being sarcastic or whatever? Of course I'm joking. You know what I mean? Like, cancer is a horrible thing. But it's not horrible enough. What I really mean is I hope you get cancer and I hope you fucking live the last fucking month of your life every single day 
gasping for a breath of air and living with the worst, horrible fucking pain of your life. For the last fucking time. Fuck the fans! Like, as you can see by all that, like, he's... <laughs> like, he's a gnome, okay? And I'm just... Yeah, he, he is definitely a gnome. Okay, killer gnome star. But, it's like... <clears throat> He says all this, he does all these things, and yet, people still end up forgiving him. Like, I'm still, I'm, like I said in the beginning, I'm all for second chances, but the thing about this is, is that he was given way more than, like, four chances to, um, be like, to try to, like, make up for the stuff that he's done. But he still hasn't. He just keep on, he just keeps on being crazy, doing the retarded things that he does, and I, I don't understand that. Like he's been, like honestly, he's a pretty lucky guy, um, because of how many hit chances he's gotten in his position in life, and how he's even still able to get back on YouTube. Because I don't know if you guys knew, but he had his one channel before, and he got IP banned off of YouTube, so he was not allowed on YouTube at all. But Drummer Lure account technically wasn't run by him, it was run by somebody else who so was still able to host on it. That was that, so I mean, he's already lucky in that position, and he's lucky enough that people forgive him every time. And, it's just, I don't, I don't understand why somebody would keep on doing this. So, in my opinion, from what I think, I think Killer Gnome Star is um, in the wrong here. I mean, obviously he knows that he did stuff wrong. Like, if you go on Drama Alert, like he's not even—he doesn't even host Drama Alert anymore. It's uh, by my good old buddy pal Ty. I don't—he's—we're not pals. I don't know him, but it's he Ty Blue. I'm pretty sure his name is. He's hosting it now. Um, and I'm not trying to say this just because like uh, <laughs> this is what everybody's doing now. But I honestly did watch Scarce. Before Drum Alert, like, I always watched Scares, so, I mean, I really didn't always follow him, but I knew all the retarded, dumb things that he does all the time, and it just doesn't make any sense, because, like I said, I keep on repeating this, people, but people keep on giving him all these chances, after and after and after, after all the things he's done to them, and then, after people give him the chances, after he gets called out, the reason, all right, the reason he keeps on getting chances is because he gets called out, and then after he gets called out, he tries to protect himself, but that doesn't work, and then he plays, a, and then he plays like he's the victim, like he's the one being attacked and the uh, one that was the wrongdoing put on him. So that's why people are like, oh, I feel bad now, and then they forgive him. But I mean, it's just like. People need to understand that he's he's just trying to um trying to keep it going because he knows he's at a good position in life. I don't. It was like a pretty old clip, and I might play it now if I can find it. If I won't, then we'll just keep on talking. But um, so it's like you probably just saw that. If not. I'll just explain what happened. He basically said that he did not care about his fans, he hated them all, and he's just doing the YouTube thing for the money. And so, sorry, it makes sense why he goes back to playing the victim card after and after and after and after, like every single time he goes back to that, because he knows that he's in a good position in life, he knows that he's going to make money, and he knows that he most likely probably, well, we don't know, that's it. only he knows this, that he probably does not care from his fans as you saw from that last video clip I mean how he he's he's just an and but honestly like some of the stuff he's done in the past he's an honest psychopath like he threatens the docs people I guess he's been accused of rape also um all this crazy stuff that he's just done and then people still forgive him and then he goes back to doing what he did before. Like, honestly, to me, that doesn't make any sense. If I, personally, if I did something that I that I knew I wasn't supposed to do, but I still did it, and I wrote out my apology, and somebody forgave me, I would make sure that I wouldn't do that again. Because I should feel honored that the person actually decided to forgive me for whatever I did. And... 
but honestly through his like his little gnome head it doesn't go through that oh I'm getting all these chances but I'm still screw up I mean I don't know why I didn't understand that eventually that just wasn't gonna work and people were not gonna forgive him and the other thing about Keemstar is he tries to but I guess he like blackmails people kind of in a certain way like on Twitter he'll talk to people and then he'll be like yeah I could have ended your career but I like you too much or things like that and it's because he know because they know that with drum alert there was like a lot of mob mentality like there kinda was on Leafy Leafy's videos but so, if Dramal reported on some guy doing something, but it was obviously a mistake. Like, he, like, it wasn't, unless he, it was a mistake, right? But it was something bad. So, then all the people go and hate on that person that he just reported on. So basically, he, like, blackmails people, kind of, but not really. And, in my opinion, I just think Keemstar is a psychopath. I said this earlier, he, he doxes people. He threatens the docs, he blackmails, like all the crazy things he's done in the past, like, it's honestly stupid. But, I mean, this is what I personally think about Keemstar, other people might be on Keemstar's side, I'm personally not, and these are just my personal opinions on what the Keemstar is, Keemstar situation is. It's a little bit late, but I just, uh, somebody wanted me to give my opinions on it, so, <sighs> sorry, so I thought I would, but. Anyways, that's it. Um, let me know what you guys thought about my opinions down in the comments below. What you think about the Keemstar situation down in the comments below. And that's going to be it. Bye.